oh yeah we've got to talk about this man crazy stuff on the timeline happened in relation to the whole Megan Thee Stallion Tory Lanez shooting I know it keeps rumbling on and on it's legitimately might be one of the most long drawn out court cases or cases in general involving a celebrity I've ever seen usually they try and wrap it up quickly because you know either party just wants to move on and make money and be rich and famous or it just goes to court quicker I don't know one or the other but it seems like maybe because of COVID, I guess it's definitely because of COVID, or just because of stalling tactics from Megan Thee Stallion's team, because I'd imagine if you're Megan Thee Stallion's team and you legitimately feel like it might not go your way, the one thing you want to do is keep stalling so that you have time to, you know, make shit up so you can basically um, come out of this not too bad. But essentially what happened, there was some sort of altercation where allegedly Tory Lanez was accused of shooting Megan Thee Stallion. He wasn't accused. Meg came out and said it. You know, he shot me. And, you know, since then, people decided to cancel Tory. His career went down to shitter for the most part, even though he basically stayed creating, which is a great thing to see, because I still think those two albums that he made <coughs> off the back of that tragedy, incident, whatever, were definitely some of his best work. The live performances, the videos he's put together. He's actually a better artist than he, than he was before the shooting. So it's definitely served him well in that regard, artistry-wise. But I'd, I'd assume in terms of money and in terms of, you know, being able to go out and do shows and stuff, it's definitely affected him. Like, let's not deny that. We know behind the scenes, brands and sponsors have pulled out. He's probably had shows cancelled. I'm sure it's cost him in the tens of millions, this whole court case, because everyone wants to basically wait until the coast is really... Because it looks like the coast is clear, because what you've seen so far, we've seen Post with Tory, with Bieber, with this person, LeBron shouting him out. Pretty much everyone is under the assumption that most likely he didn't do what Megan's assume, as legend he did but some of the bigger people the live nations and all these people that are really kind of the money people and the movers and shakers who kind of allow you to do shows or do this whatever give the green light to things to get done I bet those are the people who are really kind of waiting to see what the court case says but <clears throat> so it's definitely affected me in a negative whereas in Megan Thee Stallion's case she's got Grammys she's won Grammys she's won awards all this nonsense which I think I'm in a minority to say but I definitely think that's definitely made that's definitely been more negative than a positive if you're winning those awards based off your actual talent and your music being actually popular cool but if you're winning it just because of sympathy because people feel like you're the victim of you know domestic violence or a gun flipping you know whatever that's called what's a gun thing is it gun to domestic violence too i don't know regardless but if you if you're basically it feels like if you're a woman that's been harmed in that kind of altercation and people feel sorry for you that's why they give you the award it's not a good thing because it means they're only giving the award out of sympathy then when the music suffers then the sympathy is not there anymore then what so it's actually been a hindrance because it's not allowed her as an artist to actually grow in any meaningful way in my opinion but you know what do i know but out of nowhere, development came out because I guess they were meant to be in court. And academics posted this, courtesy of Glock Topics, it says the follows. Um, um, it says, academics with a post and delete about Meg and Tory case. And he says as follows, breaking, it was revealed in court a few moments ago that Tory Lane's DNA was not found on a weapon in Megan Thee Stallion's case, which is a big, big, big development because that would essentially mean Tory wasn't guilty. He did nothing wrong. And everything that he's been kind of blamed for and the consequences that he suffered was all for nothing and he's had a big fat apology and it also means that Megan lied like you know um willingly or whatever under duress she definitely lied about it so that's what it would mean if that was true <clears throat> and obviously he posted that and then deleted it and off the back of that um no it's just off the back of that Oh yeah, off the back of that, Meg said something. She replied to him, got annoyed. And then I think um, then Tori replied back off that, said, you, you can't buy and tweet your way out of this one, not today, because the truth is finally getting out. She then replied to that, his tweet said as follows. And she just escalated. She took it to the next level and said, um, uh, lie, lie your way out of this, she said. Um, if you ain't do this, if you ain't do this shit, why was you apologizing for she, she puts it all caps the lawyers got your phone records and mine all your texts they got your recorded on a jail phone talking to kelsey apologizing begging us not to talk and she posts a screenshot of her phone with tory lanes on there and the message he reads meg 
I know you're probably never going to talk to me again, but I generally want you to know I'm sorry for the bottom of my heart and I was just too drunk. None of the, nonetheless, the shit should have never happened and I can't change what I did. I just feel horrible. So it's obviously him groveling the night after, you know, we've all done it before. We've all been in kind of um, compromising situations with females where we've kind of maybe sent some of those texts. But it also, it's open-ended because it could be anything. But it gives you the impression that maybe he's apologizing for the alleged shooting. Then, Tori replies the next level up and he says nah that's not what I apologize for and he says as follows he says good dick had me fucking two best friends which is Tori and Kelsey I'm sorry Megan and Kelsey I'm assuming the girl that you know is no longer around Megan anymore it looks like and I got caught shrugs shrug emoji that's what I apologize for it's sick how you spun it though so it looks even worse now Megan because it looks like she purposely tried to mislead everybody with this screenshot that shows him apologizing to make it seem like he was apologizing for the shooting when he's actually saying the reason why we were arguing in that car and the reason why that shooting or something happened that skirmish was because meg or kelsey or one of them somebody found out that you know they were in some sort of a love triangle and that's what basically started the whole beef which for whatever reason megan hasn't really acknowledged or hasn't really even i don't think she's even admitted that she even was intimate with Tori she just kind of just I don't know just the shooting the shooting the shooting which is a great way to spin a narrative I guess um and then um Tori posts some really I think pretty decent um words in terms of being the bigger person is because I think if this was me and I generally didn't do what I'm being accused of especially when it comes to this sort of stuff shooting of a woman like this is stuff that you, especially if you're found guilty, is stuff that you can legitimately never recover from. And society should never let you recover from, right? Especially if you're in that privileged position of being a musician. This should be something that you should just, it means that your career is over. You just go and get work a regular job. It is what it is because you know, it's a privilege. You, this position that you have is a privilege. Especially if your fans don't want you anymore as well, that's another thing too. But um, it's definitely something that you shouldn't be taking lightly. So if I generally think someone's lying on me, I would want to get see them get as much i would want to see that person get as much buried as i was getting buried in public for sure i wouldn't be disgracious no way but tori for some reason was and he says as follows in the following tweets um courtesy of glock topics he says as follows he says here um, they lied to someone i thought was my friend they coerced her into digging a hole that is now going to look crazy to the whole community she riled up she's not at fault they are and it's sad because they truly don't care what happens to her when it's all said and done and it continues as they use this narrative to separate black women from black men they made it so the protection of black women suddenly meant the unprotecting of black men funny because it was right when it was right when the for the first time we were all somewhat standing together for the same cause crazy so he's been quite gracious in this whole affair and who knows what's actually happened we have no idea what occurred it is looking more likely more likely than not <coughs> especially with the lack of dna being found in the gun because i think if the dna was on the gun it was, it was conclusive i think tori would have been done for already but it also goes to show how powerful how important it is to have record labels and to be signed by the right people and stuff like as bad as some of those deals can be some of the benefits that come with it is the fact that they can maybe sweep some things under the rug they can help you out of this help you out of that especially if you're a talent especially if somebody is bringing in money and you're an asset they'll do everything in their power to protect you because it's effectively their kids tuition fees at private schools their mortgages um, their homes their cars their vacations they're all off the back of your success or basically your ability to generate income or to perform or whatnot so it's there it's in their business to ensure that meg can come out of this as great as she can or they can store as much as they can or paint her out to be as the, the, the good person because their entire family's future is resting on this case effectively so when you sign to these major record labels whether you're in a big record label or you're with a management company that like rock nation whatever you're doing these people that like rock nation they do a lot behind the scenes like this is what they do they seed misinformation propaganda they divert attention they store cases because for sure i think if this if this was the other way around and meg what had a stronger defense this would have been wrapped up quickly because to try to move on the fact that they've drawn this out so long leads me to believe that probably she lied and i'm interested to see what happens as a as a consequence of this if it does come out that she purposely lied or 
you know, misremembered, misspoke, whatever way they want to spin it and basically cause somebody to lose a huge part of their career, uh, distress, whatever, all these sort of things happen. I wonder what happens, how does she get dealt with in the public? Does she get dealt with kid gloves? People basically say she was under distress and she didn't know and black people, black women should be believed more. I don't know. I wonder what the reaction is going to be. That's because really, we know what's gonna happen if Tory is guilty. That's you know that 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 goes about saying, especially you know in his position, given how he's been defending himself, people are gonna be willing and eager to bury him for sure. And especially if he finds guilty in the court of law, court he probably deserves it. But if if it found that Meg lied, what will people do? Society, how will they react? Because that's a pretty egregious lie to stand up there under oath and say, yeah, you shot me, even though you know he didn't do it. That's pretty egregious, in my opinion. But you know what do i know on that regard what do i know 